Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Papa from Cracking It's D. Boss Reacts is made by Honest. It's titled The Sky Jackson Situation. People are still requesting these videos. A few people told me to watch this, so we're going to check it out. Listen, I'm locked in. I'm interested. This is like reality TV. <laughs> like I said, this will be a great transition over to baddies because, you know, we've already witnessed the, the buildup, you know? So when, when she actually get on baddies, you know, and she getting her head knocked into a wall... <laughs> We'll be more invested because, you know, we, we know the backstory and we were already tuned in beforehand. Sky, you better get that, that baddie shit, girl, because what movies and, and TV shows has she been on? No shade, but I haven't seen her on anything in a very long time. So, you know, that, that might be the transition you need. It looks like you committed to this ghetto lifestyle. It seems like it's authentic. So, hey, if you like it, I love it. If this is your life, then, hey, live your life and I'm going to watch. Anyway, let's hear what Honest got to say. Let's watch. I want to preface this by saying this. And I just reacted to an episode of Baddies up on my Patreon right now. Link down below. It's the episode where Krishan confronted her sister, Taziki. <laughs> that episode was wild. All the accusations that were thrown around. I had to watch it for the episode because after I, you know, got all the tea from, you know, the videos I reacted to, I was like, no, I got to see this. Um, So, yeah, we can keep it going, Sky. Hop on the show and, and I'll watch. I'll watch it on Patreon. It's not made to pass judgment on young mothers. A lot of us are products of young mothers. It's not that Sky Jackson got pregnant, it's who she got pregnant by and how it's completely taken over her image and career. Now, just for a little oh. background on Sky Jackson, Sky Jackson was a child model and actress, famously appearing in commercials for band aids and movies such as Smurfs. She was so cute. However, her most popular role is Zuri Ross in the Disney Channel show Jessie. Sky captivated audiences with her wit and sass while playing the role of Zuri Ross. The show ran for four seasons and was a massive success. It ultimately received a spinoff called Bumped. What and has she done since? She started in Lil Nas X's music video for his hit song Panini, which was a huge viral moment. Around 2018 and 2019 is when the Sky Jackson metamorphosis should have begun. It seemed like she was oh, destined cute. to be an it girl. Whether that be in TV shows, fashion, or movie, she was. I like this boho style. There are so many different types of boho styles, but this is a real cute one. I like it. Destined to be an it girl. Whether that be in TV shows, fashion, or movies. What TV shows? She had a lot movies? of social media attention. She's a pretty girl. Good. People who grew up watching her, such as Lil Nas X, clearly saw the appeal in having her star in a music video for him. And to expand upon that, she also had the nostalgia factor. Obviously, there are varying degrees, but most Disney Channel stars have an interest surrounding them because their characters and shows are tied to pivotal childhood memories. Sky Jackson's transformation into rush. an adult star or so into much. an adult it girl never materialized, and her prominent roles appeared to dry up. And the ones that she did have, such as Dreamers, Dragons, Rescue Riders, mm -hmm. still mostly played to the kid-friendly content. Which, that in itself is not a bad move either. The kid-friendly content seems to play to her strengths, but even the kid-friendly well has seemed to dry up, while drama has continued to overtake her career. I just don't feel like Sky and her team has moved with precision post-Disney. She fell into being pigeonholed, and then ultimately just being there. I really do believe the momentum that she gained from Panini being a viral hit could have and should have been the start of a new phase in her career. Take a look at Zendaya. Her entire strategy post Disney was to literally show up and use fashion as her marketing tool. Every event, Zendaya was there and looking good, even if she wasn't necessarily on anyone's radar when she first stopped Disney. She used her constant appearances to build momentum and network into bigger opportunities. That would have likely been a smart game plan for Sky to follow as well. But unfortunately, everyone doesn't have the drive or finesse as someone like Zendaya. Sky did appear on Dancing with the Stars in 2020, oh, but it didn't know. result in any big gains. The current and new phase of her career follows the cautionary tale of child stars being overwhelmed by personal drama as they transition into adulthood. Sky's image prior to her controversies was squeaky clean, without even a hint of negative press. Now before we get into her baby daddy drama, we should start with the cracks in the foundation. I think the first time I realized that Sky Jackson might not become an ape girl is because of this tweet. I know it might sound frivolous in the grander scheme of things, because this tweet is not that serious at all. But a defining quality of being an it girl is knowing how to read the room. 
this generation is staunchly against being a pick me. Mm-hmm. And this tweet just reeks. It reeks of pick Misha energy. Y'all are so boring. Y'all not playing games. Look, look, guys. I, I play video games. I'm like y'all. I'm on y'all. But all these other girls, they're boring. They're not like me. I'm better. It's a desperately craving male validation. Yeah. Straight male validation, I should say. People made a joke out of her for this tweet, and she quickly deleted it. But at the end of the day, it's just a tweet. And tweets like these aren't career damaging, just not favorable. The reception she got from this tweet was a far cry from the reception she got from rightfully putting Azalea Banks in her place when she was only a little girl. Another major incident was her feud with Bad Baby. In a perfect world, Sky Jackson, who was a Disney idol, should literally not even be in the same proximity to Bad Baby, whether that be in conversation or person. This beef began over NBA Youngboy. Can somebody hook me up with YB? He just so fine to me, Lord. Sky posted from her second Instagram account. Now, Bad Baby was allegedly involved with NBA Youngboy, and this infuriated her. And she posted to her Instagram calling Jackson. Wait, Bad Baby says, see what I'm saying? Funny how she posted this after posting my tattoo of his name, saying I'm obsessed with herpes dick. What? (laughs) Then you want to go say he's fine. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Hi, bitch, hi. By the way, I know y'all dumb hoes going to think I'm pressed because she posting YB. No, I posted this one specifically because she was about... Because she was about me and him saying he got herpes. Because she was about me? That's slow. Um, and, and all that. It's not about... There's no, there's no commas or nothing here, so bear with me. And all that. It's not about it being him. She, she do literally do this. <laughs> you know what? The, the American education system has failed you all. There are no periods, no commas, no nothing, okay? Um, it's not about it being him. She do literally do this with every dude I talk to, with two O's. <laughs> I swear this girl got mental issues. She not happy being herself, not really sure why, but she want to be a rapper's girlfriend so bad. Like, bitch, get alive. Get alive while you steady trying to live minds. Boy, and this infuriated her. And she posted to her Instagram calling Jackson a Disney thought and made a video on how she wanted to fight Sky. While Jackson never made a statement in direct response to Bad Baby, she took to Twitter to list her accomplishments. People ultimately took Sky's side due to her response, while Bad Baby stood firmly in her position. So y'all telling me it's okay for someone to play the innocent role in front of the main crowd, but in real life they make Infinsta accounts to talk bad about people. She then said, this bee got issues. Stop believing that this bee is innocent. And unfortunately, there was some truth to Bad Baby's statement. I'm pausing to read that. The news Sky Jackson had in this beef is that the general public didn't like Bad Baby and also wasn't aware of Sky Jackson's secondary Instagram account, aka Finsta, where she Red posted beef. more unfiltered thoughts. She tries to act innocent, but has a whole other Instagram page talking about how she wants. Right. Look at her face. Who said that? So Sky was presented as to act innocent but has a whole other Instagram page talking about how she wants. Who said that? So Sky was presented as being more innocent, and it seemed like Bad Baby was just mindlessly picking a beef over a guy. Jackson responded to Bad Baby's comments by taking out a restraining order against her. The petition was temporarily granted and later dropped by Jackson. I just feel like if someone who has reached the heights that Sky Jackson has is involved with a beef with someone like Bad Baby, there's likely something that the public wasn't presented with. As the saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire. fire. Mm -hmm. Now her next major controversy came at the hands of her own life. A few months ago, Sky Jackson was arrested for domestic battery after a public fight with her boyfriend. According to TMZ, Law enforcement tells TMZ the actress best known for starring in Disney shows Jesse and Bunked was arrested last week for domestic violence. We're told deputies were called to Universal City Walk after security spotted Jackson and her boyfriend getting into it, and the actress allegedly pushed him and more than once. Sources told TMZ that security clocked the altercation and then detained the couple until law enforcement arrived. Jackson and her boyfriend both denied anything got physical. To the contrary, she said they were happily engaged and expecting a baby together. 
This is also how the world found out about her pregnancy. And shortly after, there were leaked photos of her being and pregnant. He's saying, uh, and then there's her most recent controversy. Shortly after her official pregnancy was revealed to People magazine, Yerky Yerky, <laughs> which is the name of the Facebook page her baby daddy has operated under, me up. there was a disparaging message about Sky posted And they hear on him say it so proper. Yerky Yerky. Page that read... On what I'm salty, I got this dumb ass Disney Channel bitch pregnant. I hate this hoe. Sky and her mother quickly came out in defense of him and claimed that his okay, page was hacked teams, after yeah. this reached the headlines. But there's various videos of him going live on this page and saying out of turn things. One of him even mocking Sky's late beloved co star Cameron Boyce. That nigga just wood right here. Stop comparing me to a dead nigga though. Fuck, is y'all cool? What the fuck? Is y'all cool? Y'all keep on comparing me to a nigga that's dead. Mm, embarrassing. We, we just saw this yesterday. With many wondering why on earth would Sky Jackson choose him? And every time a controversy surrounding him comes up, her and her team are trying to smooth it over. It ain't working. After a while, it starts to feel like the too most late. blatant example of damage control. It's unfortunate because this man was Sky's choice and nothing <laughs> got out of control, has publicly about their relationship. Outside of just being a young star facing controversy, I think there's another cautionary tale here. You know, a young, successful, well-off girl chooses someone who is unaccomplished in comparison to her and has seen a lot of trouble. And they end up having to learn the hard way. And the worst part is an innocent child will be brought into their mess. It's never a good sign when you're arrested okay, during your so pregnancy. I also know what she's recently it's been It's mind-boggling that her has career has become this. <coughs> it only makes you wonder how much of this has been present all along, IMDb, but okay. tightly concealed by her and her team. All things considered, I hope she has a healthy pregnancy, but I do think it's going to take a lot to rehabilitate her image and career. And I want to Child, make it clear sure. that people fall in love with people from different backgrounds, all the time. That's universal. That's not the problem. The problem is there are clear signs of him running into trouble and being a controversial figure. Once again, it is Sky's choice. It is her life. But for a lot of people that grew up watching her and is familiar with her, it is insane how much her image has taken a hit from this. And she's very young, but at this point, she has decades of work under her belt. And I remember her being a fan favorite and everyone rooting for her. So it's interesting we that this is really right where she lands in the headlines as an adult. And honestly, the most noise she's made since Jesse. He ain't lying about that because I looked up her IMDb child and she is not really in nothing like that. So she's been in a couple movies last year. Never heard of them though. They seem like they went straight to streaming child. And they got real bad ratings. 3.3. <laughs> Another one with Kiki Palmer. 5.2. Um, yeah, so it seems like she ain't really been getting no no big roles whatsoever. She hasn't really been working. And prior to those movies, it says she ain't been in nothing since 2021. So, yeah. I don't know her financial situation. It's not the point. The point is... She's a ratchet. <laughs> oh, no, that is the point. Since she don't have no, you know, big films or anything, it seems like her, her acting career has, you know, has uh, fizzled out. And she's now really known for this ghetto shit. This looks terrible. That might limit her opportunities. Some movies don't want to be involved with, with ratchets, you know? So, you know, baddies might be a good option. I'm not saying she has to do it. <laughs> I'm not trying to push anything on her. I'm just saying it's an option. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but but yeah, this this is the Sky Jackson situation. I feel like it'll be quiet from here on out until maybe Yerky Yerky gets out of jail and does something else. Who knows? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!